Hey everyone, we're back with another episode of Watch Talk. Today we're talking all about great watches that dad would actually want to wear. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. Now, Ripley and Justin definitely have a wrist check, so let's see what you guys are wearing. Uh, a contender for, I think, a great watch for any dad. Classic Omega Speedmaster Moonwalk. So true, and your strap looks great. Got it on the Formex uh, Velcro. It's Ooh, just so like strep, sweatpants for your wrist. <laughs> Getting into the dad spirit. <laughs> I love it, Ripley. All right, Justin, what are you rocking today? Uh, I'm going with the Rolex Explorer. Okay. Simple to me, I think it's a pretty good dad choice. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. Classic, clean, love it. Dad approved, our yeah. resident dad on site today. I would actually wear it, so I guess we're, uh, we're on theme. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Well, for the sake of a wrist check, I'm wearing my absolute favorite, a Rolex Cellini. Um, obviously gold, not exactly like dad approved, maybe dad's dad approved, but. I like it, it's very heritage, which I think yes. is part of the Love dad. the dial on that. Yes, yeah. this dial is stunning, especially that oval shape. I have zero complaints. Well, we are kind of in it for a fun one today. Um, we are all bringing one watch to the table today over the course of three categories. So our Three categories are going to be um, under ten thousand dollars, between ten and twenty thousand dollars, and then an unlimited category. So Ripley, for our first category, under ten thousand dollars, kick it off for us. What have you got? Ten grand is a huge budget, and uh, I think one of the things that you have to talk about here is price, respective of that budget. Yes. Um, and I also want to think about dad watches. So this little bit of an unconventional choice. Longines VHP Chronograph, VHP High Precision Quartz. Yep. So that we're literally talking like five year battery life, plus minus five seconds per year. When I think of dad watches, the set it and forget it, got good water resistance, can time it, got the date, has all the features, kid throws up on it or whatever and you're changing a diaper, it's, <laughs> it's all good to go. Carefree, don't need to worry about being late, keeps phenomenal time. To quartz durability, grab and go, convenience, and d less than two thousand dollars. So you know, solid contender. That's a great what choice. Do you say, Dad? I like it. I think this one's a great choice. Um, it's very advanced. It's kind of little techy techy, which I like. I feel like a lot of dads are kind of into that. Um, I also love the fact that it's a chronograph. Yes. I mean, it ends up timing so many things with a chronograph, whether it's you know bedtimes or five minutes for this or whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, not quite as exciting as the racetrack, but I feel like dads have a pretty good use for a good chronograph. A pretty fashionable looking dad in a watch like this, but also still functional. Yeah. And I think that that's the, the root of a dad watch. So Ripley, great option. Justin, yeah. what are you bringing? Okay, so I got something a little bit different. One of my favorites. Ooh. I'm gonna do the Omega Aquaterra. Wow. And I got the green version, it's my favorite color. I mean, there's lots of good choices, but yeah. I went with the green. Um, anyway, I think it's a great dad watch. It's very, uh, kind of in between that luxury dressy, it can be sporty, it can kind of do everything. Um, great price point, you know we're talking under 10,000. Yeah. This is, um, like Ripley said, that's a pretty big budget. This comes in at quite a bit less than the $10,000 max. Um, so anyway, great watch, automatic time and date. I think it's a, a solid choice for a dad watch. Yeah, I love how it's not committed to any one type. It's not like a Seamaster where it's a diver, Speedmaster, it's a chrono, it's literally time and date goes with anything, easy to do, dress it up, dress it down, good water resistance, good for dad. Yeah, exactly, kind of does everything. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this watch. Um, I, like you said, go anywhere, do anything, yeah. watch. This is yeah. dad all over it. Also, it looks great on a leather strap, which is, uh, yes. I, I think, another big point. I can mix it up, I can put it on like a black leather, I can put it on a tan, yes. you can put it on a NATO, it looks fun, so. The functionality yeah. of this one truly yeah. reigns supreme. I like how both of ours have a pop of color too, so if you're trying to appeal to the kid, get them into watches, it's, yeah. uh, it's a good way to just lead it in with if they like green or red or blue uh -huh. or whatever. It definitely has a little bit of that fun air to it. What a good watch for even the idea of passing it down. I think that these are good stars starter watches for future children, and I don't know, I, I love it. You I'm guys curious. wanna know what I brought? Yeah. Let's see what you got. All right, well, we had to, again, in this $10,000 budget, be, be conscious of what we're spending. Mine is still definitely under budget, thankfully. Um, but I just Very brought nice. a Datejust. Classic Rolex Datejust. Yes, two-tone in all of its dad glory. Um, love it, date, 
function waterproof to another level, um, but still kind of adds that flash that dad needs at a point. Sit reference 16233. I mean, this is literally the watch I did buy for my dad for yes, his 75th birthday. So I got it with a black tapestry dial, but yeah, quintessential dad watch, enough of a statement piece. I mean, it's a Rolex, but also kind of worth important. Like we can, you can get a Rolex for dad for under 10 grand. Yes. Like that's still possi a possibility. Exactly. Prices are crazy, but it's not all in the five figure range. And what a great one, right? I mean, there's probably nothing more classic than two-tone date just 36 millimeter mm -hmm. it's got the date I mean this just screams dad watch to me in the best way possible I agree yeah I agree well these are our first options we've definitely got more in this ten to twenty thousand dollar category so let's get to it all right Justin you've got the first watch reveal in this okay. category what you to twenty thousand yeah okay I got something a little bit different I think it's a very <gasps> different cool dad indeed. Watch pick. yes okay uh, so I'm going Panerai um, I like a lot of Panerai's. Uh, Luminor Carbotech. Yeah, this is um, that Carbotech case, huh? Yeah, this one to me, it's not like your first dad watch. It's not really entry level we're talking about, but it's such a cool watch and it's so unique. Um, just the look of it right off the bat, it's got that really cool Carbotech case and you can see the, the texture on it. And then, you know, with all the blue accents, it's just, I mean, it's powerful. I love the strap. I just, I just think it's a really cool dad watch. And, uh, you know, if someone got this one for me, I'd be very happy to strap it on my wrist. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool one. I, uh, a Panerai, like the Luminor just has an iconic shape. So hyper masculine, you, you're that yes. you burly dad, big dad, muscular dad, like absolutely wear a Panerai, f looks the part. And yeah. obviously Carbotech is cool because it's lightweight, high tech, strong. It's not your everyday Panerai. It's kind of a more elevated, sporty mm -hmm. take on it. It is very different, you know, I kind of said it's a little bit, um, Kind of like the Longine we talked about, a little bit techy, a little bit cutting edge, um, and this one fits the bill. And you know, especially if you're looking for a larger watch, yeah, gets in there as well. So there's a lot of good reasons to pick this one. I agree. I honestly am a big fan of Panerai as a whole. I think even some of their lesser expensive options, honestly, would be great in this conversation. Oh, absolutely. Oh, but yeah. for the sake of this budget category, I love this kind of sporty play. I think this is a cool dad watch. Yeah. This is really kind of that that out of the original dad uh -huh. watch box. Definitely not classic. Yes, yeah, this is the exact opposite of that date just I brought. But dang, Justin, it's a good one. All right, Ripley, what did you bring to this category? Well, I usually, when I'm thinking of dad watches, I'm thinking of something maybe durable, practical, something, sure. but 10 to 20 grand is kind of a lot of money. Yeah. And so if you're gonna do that, I assume I mean, it's probably not your only watch, you might have others. And one thing that I think would be really cool uh, to kind of to, you know have alongside maybe some other watches, maybe some more affordable ones, a vintage Rolex, and then obviously get a cool one, uh, reference 1675, vintage GMT Master, Pepsi wow. bezel, Matt Dial, uh, icon of the vintage Rolex world, um, you know, comes in under budget, and it's not like a modern watch, so it's not gonna be necessarily the one when you're grilling by the pool, but um, it's one of those fantastic timepieces that is gonna look the you know, look at home in any collection, have a worthwhile place in any collection. And if you have other modern watches that do the dad duties, have a vintage piece in there and you can then kind of show the progression of modern to vintage, tritium loom, aluminum bezels to ceramic and just kind of have that contrast. Uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't have a vintage watch in there and I think 10 to 20 grand is a great sweet spot for it. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, it's a great spot to introduce the vintage to the collection. Um, and the 1675 is about as classic as you can get. I mean, gorgeous watch, love the GMT. Um, it's so classic with the red and blue, right? It's just oh, yeah. iconic and um, you know, it's a great vintage piece to add. Vintage, I think any dad on any planet would love this watch, especially if you went 1675. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if we can get much more classic than the 1675, but I'm gonna try, especially when we're talking about a classic dad. My pick for this range is, all right, I've got the newest Submariner date, uh, 126610, look at her, in all of its beauty. Um, just uh, in this range, like if you're gonna go Rolex and you wanna go modern, here we are. Yeah, steel sub, current spec, obvious choice. And you could easily have all three of these watches too. Yes. And there's no, there's not too much overlap. You get a modern Rolex, get a vintage one, get something totally out of left field and not metal, you know, in carbon. Uh, awesome choice and great contender is the go anywhere, do anything, one watch collection. Yeah. What, would you wear it, Dad? Uh, I love the Submariner. I mean, this might just be the best choice out of the whole day, right? I mean, if you don't have a Submariner, Get it, yep. right? I mean, even I, if you do, because there's plenty of other ones, you know, I could have two, six, 
10 at least in my collection and yes. you know probably still want more so yeah i mean very classic and just like I said, probably the best dad watch choice of the day. I think so. I actually started my husband's Rolex collection with a 16610. So at this point, I, I think a Submariner is a good watch for any dad. Yeah. Fantastic choice. Dress it up or down. And I think, you know, for the one watch collection, that kind of is important. That yeah. flexibility. Might not want to do the red and blue bezel every single day of the week, mm -hmm. but I mean, black on steel, that's classic. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we've got two categories down. We have one left. This is our unlimited budget category. You definitely have got to see the watches we've got here. I mean, so unlimited budget. Yep. Um, I kind of went practical but also a flex on this one I'm thinking like what's overtly resplendent and leaning into it but at the same time something I could actually see myself wearing as a dad all day every day Patek Philippe Aquanaut. Ooh. Patek's more modern sport watch so not the Nautilus you know that might be my dad's sport watch but I would go for the Aquanaut classic steel time and date and just let it be the sports watch it was intended to be wear it beat it up swim with it let it just be the dad watch don't treat it like a Patek, and that would be my ideal dad watch blank budget. Yeah, I think it's Pretty a great amazing. choice. Yeah, it, it fits perfectly in that category of super flex, but also dad watch and sporty, and and it's yeah, it's just great. It's a good choice. It's I love it. I would be very happy to wear it. Too. Yeah, exactly. Um, it can be definitely be casual. Um, I mean, if you know, you know, but it's not super flashy. And yeah. you know, a lot of times when we talk about unlimited budget, we go right to the you know the kind of crazy platinums and diamonds and all that. And this one uh, can be a little understated, which I like, especially for a dad watch. This is a great one. Yeah. All right, well, dad, what's your unlimited watch option? So I tried to kind of rein it in, and like I was just talking about, without going too crazy, um, I really like. Oh wow, reining it in, huh? A modern. Well, we're talking unlimited budget here, yes. and you know we could easily be talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, but I think beautiful. you almost can't beat just a classic solid gold Rolex Day Date. Mm -hmm. um, I love this dial. Um, I mean, kind of take your pick. They have you know tons of flavors to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, this one I think is beautiful. I really like the gold on gold. Um, and even though I'm not, you know, I'm more of a sport watch guy than a dress watch guy, mm -hmm. I do think you really need one solid dress watch at least to. Uh, to kind of round out the collection and you know as dad I can't think of a better choice than this. Ah, uh, what was to be have. very very forever for uh, you know a dad watch. Yeah, yellow gold day date, bona fide icon, day date 40 current production spec, awesome and 100 meters water resistant. It could be your sport watch and you could just go spear fishing <laughs> in a true. solid gold day date. Yeah, it could be done. All right, well, you guys want to see what I brought? Yeah, let's see it. So we're sticking with gold, but I went ahead and mm -hmm. went to the Royal Oak. Um, yes, this is gold, but kind of just that perfect size for dad, but also just perfect flex in the all gold. I don't know. I loved it. Yeah, it's a it's a great choice. Um, I like unlimited. the AP exactly, and we're talking about unlimited budgets. Um, you know, pretty much the sky's the limit. Uh, I love the AP choice for that. Um, it's super iconic. It stands out. You know exactly what it is, yeah. and it's the elevated version of it. We're talking solid gold. We're not talking oh, yeah. stainless. Um, and with that cream dial in the gold, I think it's it's just a beautiful it's a beautiful match and colorway. Um, I think it's a good choice for a dad. I would absolutely wear it. Yeah, it's like the one-upping the day date, where if you wanted something more exclusive, more bold in design, it still Ooh, wanted yeah. a full gold bracelet yes. statement piece. Yeah, go for the AP Royal Oak Jumbo and, Jumbo and solid 18 karat. Um, you guys went a very different direction than me. I'm thinking like what yeah. I might actually practically wear, and I went with a steel Aquanaut. My God, you guys went. Yeah. Uh, There's like I, two I, pounds of gold on the table. I tried, and I think I maybe kind of got there. Um, Emily didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, I wanted dad to know he is special and loved and what says Dad's going to have more children if this is the watches he's getting for it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, this has definitely been a fun episode getting the chance to talk about watches that dad would actually want to wear. It wouldn't be watch talk though if we didn't have a chance to choose our overall favorite. Are you guys down to choose your favorite? Let's do it. For dad, you want me to start for once? Yeah, yes. go ahead. Okay, well, to be honest with you, I do love my Royal Oak pick, but Ripley, you kind of sold me on this Aquanaut. I mean, I know that we have watches at all levels. To be fair, in the un uh, in the uh, first category of under 10, I really love the Omega that you brought in. Okay. I genuinely think that it's a beautiful watch, but if I'm going one only for Dad, it's going to be right here. I love the Aquanaut. It's a good choice. Um, 
like you know, like we talked about, it can do so much. It's casual. It just has that dad feeling, mm -hmm. but also having that you know super luxury flex to it. Um, it's a great choice. Thank you. What would you pick, Ripley? So for me, I know I chose the Aquanaut, but that's for me as the dad now in his 30s and <laughs> lives an active life. What's the best dad watch for me going into the future? I think I would go to my roots. I'd be choosing something from Rolex. It would not be the Submariner. It would be Justin's pick right here. Wow. Solid yellow gold Date 840. I'm not sure my little wrist can pull this off from a size perspective, but if I had a solid yellow gold Date 8, I would wear it every day and just lean into it and just be a gold watch guy. I could see you doing it. I think, uh, I think it would be a good fit. I could definitely visualize yeah. that. <laughs> Um, All right, Dad. I would go with, uh, I was very close to picking what Ripley just picked, but I'm glad I didn't because I actually would pick the Submariner. Okay. Um, so I think it's a great watch. Um, and like I said before, possibly the best watch of the whole day. Um, if you don't have one or your dad doesn't have one. It's so beautiful, even I, in this group. I don't group. think anyone would be disappointed about sporting this as your dad watch, your first or only, or one of many dad watches. Um, it's just so classic, classic Submariner. I mean, it's iconic. Um, yeah, I, like, well, I think they're all great choices. I just, I love the Submariner, and that gets my nod. I can see why. Honestly, great grouping all together. So these are our picks for all the dads, non-dads, women who are married to dads, or just people that have dads. What are you guys picking? What would you choose for your dad? Is there something that we missed? You gotta tell us in the comments, or even if you just have a personal favorite that maybe we showed today, definitely let us know. I know that we've been working on some future video um, topics, and one of which is going to be some questions that we are hoping we can answer for you guys. So if you just have any question that you've been dying to ask, we want a chance to be able to answer those for you. So be sure to leave any questions that you have in our comments. Um, Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Watch Talk. This is a good one. Until next time, though, we'll see you soon.